Hello everyone. So Microsoft has launched Windows 10 technical preview operating system. So I thought this is my first video on Windows 10 and I'm going to install the Windows 10 on my uh, VMware Workstation 11 which you can see over here. Where is it? Okay. So this is my Workstation 11 here. I have never installed before the Windows 10 so I thought I should share my experience of installation with you and uh, before we begin uh, let's check the system requirement first uh, what exactly we need to have in place before we do the installation so let me just grab a system requirement in front of you okay so this is the system requirement we should have in place before we begin it says basically PC run on the Windows 2008 so it is as good as Windows 2000 I mean for Windows 8 like what are the minimum requirement we should have like for Windows 8 we should have the same requirement for Windows 10 also it says 1 gigahertz processor or faster should be enough 1 gigabit RAM 32 or 62 2GB for 62 bit operating system I mean for 2GB it should be 64 bit and 1 GB is enough for 32 bit minimum requirement is 16 GB Microsoft Direct X9 graphic device I'm not sure we will have this but we are gonna try alright and if you want to know from where to download the this operating system Windows 10 I can share the link in the description of this this video description you can check later on okay so what I'm gonna do we're gonna do the 64 bit operating system installation but if you want 32 bit you can still have it from the same link which I'm gonna share with you and you can do your 32 bit installation as well so let's begin with the installation and see how it goes what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a new machine it's gonna be custom I have workstation 11 so that's fine click next L let me just take the ISO I have already installed Windows 10 ISO as I said we'll go with the 64 bit select click next and we should have key which I should have somewhere here let me just grab the key and I'll come back okay sorry for the pause I was just busy getting the key so here's our key is in like a key from the Microsoft we should use for our Windows 10 I'm just simply gonna copy I'm just simply gonna go with the key uh, it says Windows 8.1 enterprise I don't know let me just quickly go back I'll say I'll install the operating system later I say Windows 10 x64 next I will not install on my C drive just quickly gonna change the drive I'll say new folder Windows 10 yeah I'll keep the name as it is I'll say install next firmware type BIOS number of processor 1 to 1 total core 2 just we'll go with the number of processors I guess one is enough that's fine number of cores and number of processors select next we can increase a little bit more if you want to 
I'll select this is basically the RAM we are selecting the RAM select next we can go with the NAT or if you want to use in between the host only or you can do the bridging as well it's up to you whichever network interface you want to go with select next and we'll leave the default select next SCSI as recommended next we'll use create a new virtual drive we'll go like as this is a test only we'll go with the 50 GB we'll store a drive virtual drive as a single disk rather than going with the split you don't need to alloc allocate the real disk or the full disk or something select next select next and this is 50 GB this is the location should going it should go to the into the same location where we supposed to have Windows 10 save next and finish right we have this virtual machine ready so all we need to do let me just edit the settings I'll go the drive I'll select the ISO image and then what I'm gonna do I'll quickly go to the location where I have ISO image Windows 10 as I said we're gonna go with 64 bit and okay now we have all the prerequisites the system requirement the hard drive the network drive the RAM everything is in place let's boot the virtual machine I have never done this before so I don't know what oh okay I have finished. I will like physical whatever you are done. You are the board. Okay, click finish installation. So you have a small message over here. Install Windows 10 next as you would on a physical computer when you are done and the operating system boots up. Click finished. I mean, click I finished installation. Right. That's nice. Okay, I have this is the default setting because. You don't need to change over here unless or until you have a different language to select. Click next. Okay, install. Let me just okay. We have it. I accept. Next. Custom. If you need to do more partitions, you can do as you like, but right now I'll just leave it as default click next and it will begin I guess as good as Windows 7 or Windows 8 seems it's going very fast let's see how fast it will go getting files ready for the installation Okay, I'll just pause the video for a while. I'll come back if I need to do something. If something else comes here, if something needs to be shown, I'll come back over here. Okay, guys. Uh, this section, getting files ready for the installation, approximately took, approximately took like 10, 10 minutes. And just finishing it off, we're gonna restart now. Okay, we'll not wait. It's getting ready. Has a window sign. Rolling, rolling. I think it's gonna take a couple of more minutes to finish it off.
should be done by this time maybe it could be initial boot and still booting getting device ready okay that's something new must be preparing the hard drive must be installing the the drivers and all so that's fine why I'm recording all this so you will know also what process we need to go through and since this is my first time as well so we all okay so it approximately took like 10, 10 minutes more to finish that setup thing and after that straight away we have reached to this page Uh, so basically this is a pre-release software setting through the system may not function as expected or desired so it's like a, it's like a release which can expect some bugs or it may crash it could be anything it's like a customer release which is released for the testing purpose so We'll use some express setting. Next, you will set up your account. Okay, it seems like it is asking to get the account set up so let me just quickly put my account click next I can't do this right now So I just skip the skip the step. So let's see where he it will take us. Help us protect information. Please wait. Setting up your account. So it must be connecting to my mail account and doing all this process. Thank God, now we have reached to the finalizing your settings. Hi, we are setting things up for you. You can get new apps from the store. Okay installing your apps this is kind of very lengthy it's very long installation expecting this much long but let's see how further it let me just quickly pause the video and then I'll come back guess what guys we have finished our installation I'll click I finished the installation so this is how Windows 10 will look like you have like 
small search bar it can do anything you want to it can go and search from the web let me just quickly show you the startup menu you have your all the apps installed here I guess that's all I have yep you just need to go down look at your apps you have mail install maps are there and then you have all the apps you uh, you should have in place and you have one small shortcut bar all you can see the wall if you want to add something all you need to do is go back let's say partial right click on it say pin to the taskbar oops content pin to the start it should come over here sticky notes yes so this is basically called the startup bar As I would say it's kind of small wall where you can have we can quickly grab the things you, whatever the app you want to you want to launch and in case if you want to know how to shut down or how to restart your your machine just click on the power option and you can say shut down or you can say a restart so that's it for now i hope you like my video sorry for for so many pauses this was my first time i had never done before i hope you loved it you liked it please comment please like thank you very much